Um, we will go to workshop two. The theme was intergenerational dialogues among EU entrepreneurs. Our rapporteur is um, Carlos Sentis, who, um, as far as I know, wears many hats, but today he's here on behalf of the Young Entrepreneurs Organization of the European Union. President of the EESC, Krista Schwen, Liaison Group co-chair, Prikena Somaki, esteemed colleagues. My name is Carlos Sentis. I am the founder and CEO of the World Innovation Alliance and presidential advisor to GEN, the Young Entrepreneurs Organization of the European Union. And I wanted to thank EESC and its extraordinary team for putting together this important initiative. It is an honor to assume the role of Rapporteur of the Intergenerational Dialogue on the Three Pillars of Sustainability, with the difficult task of summarizing an insightful and inspiring two-hour session in just three minutes with my accomplished co-panelists. I may be biased, but I think it was a truly valuable session. Please forgive me if I am not making justice to your statements, and I hope I properly reflect your contributions. Some of the key points of the discussion focus entirely on planet, people, and progress, where, first, the crucial importance of intergenerational, international, intercultural, multidisciplinary, and cross-sector dialogue and collaboration in order to co-create a better future for the EU and the rest of the world. The extraordinary added value derived from networks, platforms, connections, and exchanges between individuals and groups, including all segments of the population, and fully embracing diversity of backgrounds and beliefs in our organizations. The need of effective and mutually beneficial public-private social collaboration, leveraging all the resources and capabilities of the different sectors, and empowering citizens to become a part of the solution for our common challenges with the right incentives and aligning interests. Secondly, we agreed on the opportunity and shared responsibility of all actors to accelerate the transition towards a completely circular economy with purpose-driven, environmentally responsible organizations that do well by doing good, integrating impact and growth, focused on sustainable development under the umbrella of the United Nations SDGs. We need to redefine the way we measure progress, including key performance indicators that not only track GDP, but also take into consideration the effects of human action in the environment and biodiversity, physical and mental well-being, access to education, resilience, or human rights. A holistic vision of ever-changing and growingly complex ecosystems is the only lens through which we can proactively drive the inevitable systemic transformation, technological, political, and societal disruption in the right direction to help us face the present and future converging health, climate, security, supply, and economic crisis. We ought to seek a deep understanding of the current state of the world and the environment, the speed of change, the integration of new technologies, new trends, risks, challenges, and opportunities, and optimize the allocation and leverage of the available human, financial, and technical resources at our disposal in order to maximize positive impact. The public and the private sectors alike must act decisively to ensure that we create prosperity for all, improving and expanding access to health, education, and economic development opportunities while doing everything we can to improve the state of the planet, leaving no one behind. Thirdly, people and the planet must be at the center of all our decisions. Companies and governments must put humans at the center, empowering and incentivizing everyone to be a part of the solution for our common problems. We need further citizen and employee engagement and ambitious upskilling, mental health, career development, networking, and collaborative social impact projects to thrive in the new world, enhance people's lives, and achieve greater results, improving our organizations, reinforcing our values, strengthening our societies, and ultimately making the world a better place in a practical, scalable, and measurable way. Thank you very much, and I apologize for the technical problems. Thank you very much, Carlos, but we heard you uh, loud and clear, so that's, that's, that's great.